on Haran now going for that expansion. That's really all he needs to do. Plague going off, catching one of the science vessels. As you can see, uh, Mine desperately trying to get another expansion up. Uh, we'll see if he's successful in doing it. Another drone going down, uh, and now they're getting a look at the mineral count. As you can see, that exp that uh, secondary almost out, the main almost out. So all Mine really has producing is is that kind of uh, that off center nine o'clock expansion. Um, and, and and Haran I think is doing a lot better as far as uh, and wow, beautiful dark swarm right there. A, a beautiful plague. Science vessels down. That was some awesome micromanagement uh, by Haran and he's just doing a fantastic job of being everywhere on this map uh, and, and really harassing uh, mine down to anything. And as you can see, mine desperately just trying to get a cannon for, uh, I should say, a tank force down. And it looks like mine is going to lose that uh, that uh, command center right there. It's probably going to burn in the air. I don't think he can get some uh, SEVs. He does manage to get some SEVs there. Um, but wow, just being harassed left and right. Uh, a lot of ultralists there. They're going to push up into this medic marine force and another dark swarm down. Uh, and just two science, more science vessels pushing in. They did manage to get an radiate down. Now trying to retreat and just uh, let the dark swarm run out. Uh, and Wow, this is just turning into an absolutely epic battle. Another Radiate uh, going down, going to push in, try to do some damage to the Medic Marines. And Mine now has a decent sized force. He has the tanks. Uh, they're trying to kill those Medic Marines. And now Mine's left his uh, expansion a little bit exposed. It's going to get pincered in by uh, from that force to the south and the for uh, force to the north. Um, a Radiate going off on all the uh, the, the Ultralists. I'm not sure what Haran, uh, how his economy is doing. It looks like there's a large force pushing in on Haran's main, as you can see. And it's going to bomb from uh, the cliffside. Uh, they just switched to that view, and I'm not sure if Haran has enough to push this out, so mind uh, retaking this, retaking the advantage, now pushing in with a lot of medic marines. Haran lacking behind a little bit and uh, losing a little bit of that economic advantage, but still, man, it's anyone's game at this point. Uh, really, if mind, yeah, it looks like he's just going to push into the main, uh, and, and wow, uh, not doing, mind not doing a very good job protecting his science vessels there, but it uh, looks like he has plenty to spare. And I'm not sure that Haran has a really decent sized force. Haran, in the meantime, going to Nidus Canal over and uh, attack from the south and just go after mine supplies. So this is going to be it. Who can who can do the most damage where? Nice plague going off on all those medic marines um, and taking down the Nidus Canal so he can't reinforce. But mine, in the meantime, is going to lose the only expansion that was producing any sort of resources for him. Uh, and Haran's still doing okay economically. So if he can fend this off, uh, in my opinion, that's going to be GG. And mine is going to take the game. Uh, as you can see, that's been lifted off in the meantime. Uh, and we'll see if Haran can basically uh, fend this off. If as long as he doesn't lose his hive, as long as he doesn't lose any of that tech, uh, he is going to be okay. The question is, is ca can he ferry those forces in? Going to take out those tanks uh, uh, first to the south because they're just shelling them from the edge and going to bring them in uh, on the medic marines. And the question is, is uh, what what does he have kind of to work with that? Uh, losing that another command center kind of on the edge there um, and, uh, and just now lifting it off, but those SCVs just a a out in the open. Ultralists being produced now, but only three Ultralists against a huge force of medic marines and a tank pushing up now. So, wow, this is just going to come down to the wire. Uh, I'm not sure what Haran can produce where, but really he's done the damage he needs to, now he just needs to defend his front door, um, desperately trying to produce uh, something. Has a lot of overlords in the way there. Uh, looks like he lost his spawning pool, so uh, trying to get that back down so he can produce uh, basically some more zerglings to deal with the front. Uh, now gathering up, looks like he, he's going to try to defend that expansion in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, thinking about the long-term game here, more Ultralisks uh, dying there, and wow, just a huge group of medic marines there, now pushing in, just doing absolute, uh, wow, wreaking havoc everywhere. And this battle is all over the map. Uh, looks like mine did manage to save that expansion at the 9 o'clock. He didn't lose it, but uh, losing a bit of production there. And there's nothing to, to stop these science vessels from going all over Haran's base. We're going to see some, wow, some uh, genocide action here. And, ooh, Haran managed to get a queen out someplace and uh, and capture that command center while it was in the red. So uh, both doing decent damage to each other's economy. But in the meantime, looks like Mind is going to press in with his marine medic force into the hive uh, of Haran. And I don't think Haran's going to be able to fight it off and losing a ton of overlords. So I think that's going to carry him through the game. So, uh, But really, anyone's game right here, more medic and marines going to uh, push in. Uh, so both doing a decent amount of damage. But the, qu the thing is, is Haran could rebuild. He's all over the map. And uh, if he does manage to take out the, this expansion right here, uh, he will be able to stay in the game, basically, because mine cannot expand. As you can see, he lost that command center. Um, and still try basically desperately trying to get res. Looks like uh, a lot of those Ultralists put a, uh, took out a lot of stuff. And now pushing into the main, uh, pushing into mine's main, and so mine is going to call GG. Haran takes the game uh, by just kind of a wow just brilliant Razor Age, and that was an incredible game all over the place. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, another English commentary by Diggity. I'll see you guys later.
그런 자원들만 그런 경력이 못 나오거든요. 예. 테라는 앞마당 이후 추가 확장 하나까지 가져갈 수 있어요. 하지만 그 후에 확장은 힘들다는 것. 예, 그것을 예, 노렸던 어, 이 정명호 선수의 전략 예, 성공입니다. 성공. 네, 김철 감독은 흐뭇하게 웃고 있네요. 그렇죠. 이렇게 선수들, 신인 선수들이 잘해주는데 얼마나 기쁘겠습니까. 게임스코어 2대5로 캐테고메디아스 앞서 3대0.